Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne. One day, when he was out walking, he came to an open place in the middle of the forest. And in the middle of this place was a large oak tree and from the top of the tree there came a loud buzzing noise. Winnie the Pooh sat down at the foot of the tree, put his head between his paws and began to think. First of all, he said to himself, that buzzing noise means something. You don't get a buzzing noise like that, just buzzing and buzzing without it meaning something. If there's a buzzing noise, somebody's making a buzzing noise. And the only reason for making a buzzing noise that I know of is, well, because you're a bee. Then he thought another long time and said, and the only reason for being a bee that I know of is making honey. And then he got up and said, and the only reason for making honey is so as I can eat it. So he began to climb the tree. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed and as he climbed, he sang a little song to himself. It went like this. Isn't it funny how a bear likes honey? Buzz, buzz, buzz. I wonder why he does. Then he climbed a little further and a little further and then just a little further. By that time, he had thought of another song. It's a very funny thought that if bears were bees, they'd build their nests at the bottom of trees. And that being so, if the bees were bears, we shouldn't have to climb up all these stairs. He was getting rather tired by this time, so that is why he sang a complaining song. He was nearly there now, and if he just stood on that branch, crack, oh help, said Pooh, as he dropped ten feet on the branch below him. If only I hadn't, he said as he bounced twenty feet onto the next branch. You see what I meant to do? He explained as he turned head over heels and crashed onto another branch 30 feet below. What I meant to do, of course it was rather, he admitted as he slithered very quickly through the next six branches. It all comes, I suppose, he decided as he said goodbye to the last branch, spun round three times and flew gracefully into a gorse bush. It all comes of liking honey so much. Oh, help. He crawled out of the gorse bush, brushed the prickles from his nose and began to think again. And the first person he thought of was Christopher Robin. <laughs>